Fall armyworm is a major challenge for farmers across Kenya. Farmers have tried using pesticides and other traditional ways to manage this pest. Plant Village, together with Dream Team Agro Consultancy Limited and Isipe, have come up with a biological way of managing fall armyworm. And today we have Franklin to tell us more about how parasitoids can be used to manage this pest. But first, what are parasitoids? We use parasitoids, which are the parasites that kill the fall armyworm eggs, preventing the egg from reaching the larval stage, which is the, the destructive stage. Take us step by step on how this works. Okay, a parasitoid is an, a wasp or a fly that needs fall armyworm eggs so that it survives. So it kills the fall armyworm eggs by laying its eggs inside the fall armyworm eggs. So it needs that to reproduce so that it survives, ultimately killing the fall armyworm egg. And as a result, reducing the population of the what? Fall armyworm. Yes. Mm. So what you introduce to the fall armyworm eggs kill, kills the eggs yes. and make sure they don't hatch. Yes. And that reduces the population of the fall armyworm uh -huh. and increases the population of the friendly ah, wasp Ah, the ones that we need in the shamba, yes. the population increases. Yes. The ones that we don't need, is suppressed we now. We eradicate. Okay. So if more eggs are laid, the, the friendly wasp, the parasite, does what? Kills the eggs. It okay? keeps killing and it killing. It keeps killing additional eggs. Parasitoids are wasps or flies that lay their eggs in the fall armyworm eggs, thereby stopping the fall armyworm from growing. So, by introducing these friendly wasps, you bring a natural enemy to the fall armyworm. Now, this parasitoid does not only kill fall armyworm, but it kills all those caterpillars that belong to the same class as fall armyworm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it can be used for all the cereals that are attacked by fall armyworm. Yes. How do we use this? So what we have here is the egg card that contains the parasitoids. So this is the card. Wow. This is the card, you can see. These are the parasitoids. So we, this card has approximately 10,000 to 12,000 parasitoids. Okay? So we release these parasitoids at two to three weeks, maize. But we have to, first of all, scout for the egg masses of the fallen worm or the presence of the female moths. So that we be sure that once we release these parasitoids in that field, they will be able to find the host and they will establish. So for an acre, averagely, we, we release six of these cards. That is 60,000 parasitoids. The best time to release is early in the morning because the parasitoids, most of the time, they emerge early in the morning and they are very active in the morning. So we release this when it's not raining, that's early in the morning or late in the evening. The reason why we do this in the morning also is that, so that they get to adapt to the environmental conditions before they start their activity. So once we release this on the, on the maze, the parasitoids start moving around looking for the fallen worm eggs so that they can kill the eggs, okay? So the fallen worm eggs produce some smell that attracts, attracts these female parasitoids. Yes. Oh. So they move around the field. So they, they know where to go. Yes. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Julius. So it means you do annually. Once you plant, you do the same. No, not annually. For the, sub, the following seasons, the parasitoids will have established in the, that locality, on that farm. Yes. So we don't need to add every season, mm -hmm. provided the farmer does not use harmful chemicals that are harmful to the parasitoid. Mm -hmm. yes. You will need six parasitoid cards per acre. That's equal to around 60,000 parasitoids. Scout your farm for fall armyworm eggs or the female moth. Once you found the eggs, place the card in a piece of paper and attach it to your maze. Spread the cards equally around your field. It is best to do this in the morning or evening and make sure it's not raining. Once you have released the parasitoids, be careful not to spray with pesticides that will harm them. If you do this, the population should keep growing and win over the fall armyworm pest. Parasitoids are still being developed and they'll be available to farmers in the year 2023.